Hello everyone. Today we are going to demonstrate the features of Altec HT IDE 3000 with the help of GPIO example code. First, let us create a new project by clicking on new. We'll input our project name. And we'll save it to a folder. We will also input the MCU. The MCU which we are using for today's demonstration is HT66F3195. We are using the V version of this MCU which has the emulation capabilities. Once we select the MCU, we'll click on the compiler. So we are using the latest V3 compiler. After selecting the compiler, we'll click on next. In the configuration files, We'll set the MCU volt to be 5 and the HRC frequency to be 8 MHz. As the new project has been created, you can see the workspace, the programming area and other functional areas such as RAM, ROM, watch window, the output area. Now we will try to open the existing project. Now we'll open a recent project. This is a simple program to demonstrate the GPIO functionality of our MCU. I have declared two variables, previous button state and toggle state. I have declared it as global variables and I have initialized the variables to zero. Previous button state is a variable declared to track the previous state of the button. Toggle state tracks the toggle state of the LED. Now we'll set the WDTC register, which is nothing but the watchdog timer register. In this code, I have disabled the WDTC register. The 7 to 3rd bit can be used to disable or enable the watchdog timer and the last three bits are used to set the timeout period of the watchdog timer. Now I'm configuring the GPIO pin as input. For doing so, I'm setting the PBC0 which is the control register of PB0 pin to 1 and I am also enabling the pull high register by setting the PBPU 0 pin to 1. Now I am setting the PC0 pin of the microcontroller as output. By setting the PCC0 which is nothing but the control register to 0. If pins are shared with multiple functionality, we need to configure the pin shared registers. To configure the PC0 register as output, we need to set the PCS01 
and TCS00 bits of the PCS0 register to 00, 0 to select PC0 to select PB0 we need to configure the PBS01 and PBS00 bit of PBS0 register has 0 and also the INT0PS bit of the IFS register to 0 if PB0 is made high and previous button state is equal to 0 the LED state is toggled and updated to PC0 we are also adding a GCC delay one GCC delay is equal to 0.5 microsecond for 8 megahertz system clock then the PB0 is updated with the previous button state value now let us see how to build the code we can click on the build option once we build the code we'll connect the microcontroller to our pc via the e-link or debugger Once the MCU is connected, we'll build the code again. Once the build is successful, we'll try to run the code. Now, once again we'll dump the code into the microcontroller using the ICP option available in our IDE. We'll click on ICP. We'll start the programming by setting the voltage to 5. As you can see, the download is ok and IC is locked. Now we'll power on the MCU. Thank you.